Man, I, to me, Corey, and I, I don't need as much pasta as I used to, but I love such a good marinara, right? And yeah, you do. That, and, they, and the Italians, uh, you know, they're, I think they get underestimated for their fish preparation and their meat preparation. And they've got it all there at Mora. Oh boy, and the setting is so beautiful. We'll take you on a little tour of the front of the house here in a couple of minutes, but uh, this is what's happening right in front of our faces. Uh, Chef Scott Conan is with us. Uh, you may recognize his face from the Food Network or if you've spent time in Manhattan, he's been all over the place for uh, almost 30 years in the restaurant business. And uh, Chef- I know I don't look that old. No, you see, know, that's, that's... this is- Again, I know why you're up early this morning, for the compliments, as I always say, uh, but your, your restaurant is lovely, and congrats on the reopening. I know Thank that uh, it's been about a month and a half for you. It's been uh, a great run so far. We yeah. have a lot of happy customers, fortunately, since we've reopened. Let me slip under it. You, you know, it's one of those things. You reopen, you don't know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. and everybody's been, the customer base, our client base, our guests have been, you know, just very welcoming, yeah. I would say, which is... Which I, is I don't doubt that it's a mob scene. People are so excited and ready to yeah. get out. Well, uh, as we kind of take a, a little look here, tell me about your food philosophy. What, there are many restaurants in the world, yeah. of course. What's your yeah. what's your I, aim? I take a pretty a pretty simple approach, right? There's two schools of thought when it comes to Italian food: alta cucina, cucina rustica. I try to bridge the bridge the gap between mm -hmm. those two, and I have a good time make you know kind of interpreting some classic dishes with and, uh, different flavor of, of interpretation. What am yes. I, what are we looking at here? So this is a focaccia di recco. You got to get in there. It's filled yeah. with stracchino cheese. It is. Oh boy! You're gonna be happy. You, this this is a good bite. <laughs> right, the cheese is beautiful. It is beautiful. Right, I, it's a very thin layer of uh, of dough. So it's a it's a it's a focaccia oh, from the town of Recco in Genoa, just outside of uh, uh, well, in uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, just outside of Genoa, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, well, it's a delicious, delicious. Which fish product. sacrificed itself for this we delicious have, dish? Uh, this beautiful Bronzino. We do it Livornese style. So we're just gonna take it right out of this pan. I don't have a spatula, of course, right? So what we do is we normally take it out of the pan, put it in inside here, and we have this beautiful Livernese sauce with olives and tomatoes and capers, and then we finish it with some beautiful fresh tomatoes, baby tomatoes as well. We have our version of a steak frite, kind of an Italian chimichurri sauce with the steak as well, fresh salad that it goes with. You showed the burrata earlier. Uh -huh. We have with eggplant and some Calabrian chilies as well. Um, pizza, focaccia, what else do you want? I can't even hear what you're saying, Chef. <laughs> I'm in some sort of a daze here. Uh, but next time we get together, uh, we'll get uh, some of these dishes out onto uh, the beautiful uh, tables here. And quickly, as we're looking at this beautiful yeah. oven, <laughs> It's nice and toasty here. I don't know what an August day is like here at Mora, but um, this seems to do the trick. Is almost everything prepared in here? We, we prepare a lot of the foods in here. We do a lot of the fish and the steaks, mm -hmm. obviously the pizzas, flatbreads, things like that. It's such a great flavor profile that that wood gives and permeates the doughs themselves. So, Scott, thanks for getting stuff. up early for us. We do appreciate oh, it. it. And um, again, next time we get together, lots more dishes to show you from Mora and uh, just our cross street, 7th oh Street and gosh. just south of Bethany Home. Right. Very exactly. Good. All right. So, Troy, can you imagine I, I, I don't, what steak looks like? Oh, yeah, there I you can, go. Uh, I don't have to imagine. Oh, here Troy. he goes. Would you like here another slice? Or I mean, would you like to watch me eat another? Piece? Do I have a choice? That's at this what I point? meant to say. I misspoke. Uh-uh. I need to go back to Mora. Mm -hmm. I live right down the street. Come see us. Oh, it's got the little bit. See, I love. You gotta have a little burn on your pizza. That's just the way I roll. I like a yeah, little char, do. right? All right, Corey. Thank mm -hmm. you. Welcome back. Corey is out live at uh, Mora Italian, and yeah. I was just checking out some of their menu items. Corey, the pasta al pomodoro. It looks oh, I know. delicious. Yeah. Celeste, we're going to see that. And wait till you see. It does look. Uh, and I'm going to find out. I'm sure that it does taste delicious as well. Uh, but uh, Chef Scott Conan is with us. And 
again, congratulations and welcome to Arizona about four years ago or so. Uh, you came on out and you've really made a big splash, of course. Let's take a little uh, stroll Please. down the way yeah. here. Uh, what are we starting? We've got lots of food to show this everybody. This is the Branzino Livarnese that I had mentioned to you earlier. Some capers, tomatoes, olives. It's a beautiful, fresh dish that we cook inside that wood-burning oven. Mm -hmm. We have a little burrata next to it with eggplant, pickled eggplant, eggplant, eggplant puree, and some Calabrian chili. Ooh. Peperonata. Nice. And we have some beautiful cocktails. I'm very proud of the cocktail program sure. that the GM Kevin has wow, put together. This is so lovely. Uh, Isn't that nice? The presentation just fantastic. It's a kind of a play on a margarita called the Drunken Wifey. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. <laughs> that's a personal story of his. A barrel aged Negroni, and then we have this Miracle Elixir, which is one of uh, one of the favorites, one of the fan favorites, I would say. And you know, I'm, I'm proud of the pizzas that we're doing. We're sure. doing a play on Neapolitan pizza, so it just you know. Really simple, great tomato sauce, basil. This is a margarita with fresh mozzarella, uh, fiori di latte. And, well, let's uh, head all around the corner yeah. and why, uh, obviously, the experience. People aren't coming in here to just grab something and run out, although they can do that. They can. It's about lingering and enjoying yourself. Your wine case is lovely. It's, you know, I always love this functional aspect of the design. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something very warm and welcoming about a, a a, a wine display, yeah. so that's temperature controlled. So we keep everything at the proper temperature. It's uh, it, it, it's just and it's beautiful, right? Yeah. It's just, this is it's a, a nice special thing. little location here. I imagine if you got a special night, it's nice to get your it's crowd nice together. To, eh? It's nice to come up here, and uh, that's where I sit with my family when I come in. Of course exactly. you do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get to uh, another table full of great dishes. Well, we can start in the beginning and, uh, sure. and kind of head around the corner. What do we start yeah, so, with here? So this is our version of a steak frite, uh, New York strip, beautiful French fries uh, with a little Italian style chimichurri. Another pizza margarita, as we mentioned before. Mm -hmm. This is a porchetta pork chop, porchetta style, with the seasonings of porchetta, the same burrata that we had earlier. Mm -hmm. This, Let's finish oh, on yeah. this. Let's, uh, this is a fettuccine uh, with escarole and mushrooms, roasted garlic <laughs> inside. Of course it's really it is. Really simple and, <laughs> and simply delicious. And this is a signature. Uh, it's pasta pomodoro. Mm -hmm. It's spaghetti, essentially, technically tonorelli with tomato and basil. If most people who've been here seem to have ordered this, um, we sell hundreds of yeah. this dish. It is. It's bananas how many yeah. of these we sell. Now, Conant, not an Italian name, but no. what, what's your connection? I mean, you grew up uh, in the Northeast, yeah. lots of great Italian uh, influence out That's there. Right. Well, my mother's, my mother's family's from Italy. Oh, gotcha. Um, so I'm, she's first generation Italian American, uh -huh. and my father, as I told you earlier, comes from a long- Was the house time. noisy growing up? Yeah, oh, yeah, a little, <laughs> just a little. Years of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Scott, thank you so much for the tour. And just so everybody knows, uh, again, 7th Street, just south, south of, of Bethany, Bethany Home. home. Yep. And uh, easy to find. This is a great row of exciting restaurants these days. And uh, Mora is certainly one of the loveliest in the whole batch. So, Celeste, this is the dish that you were just talking about. And there it is, yes. right in front of your eyes. Enjoy it, my That's friend. It's delicious. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> you know I know I'm will. salivating right. here. Oh, by the way, what time do we open today, Scott? <laughs> open at five. We open at five. <laughs> Celeste, we'll see you then. Okay. I'll see you at 4.30, and I'll be first in line. Thanks, Cor.